measuring the specific heat of some aluminum shot. Um, one of the first things you want to do is to get the, the water started boiling on your stove. We have a hot plate here, but you can use your stove at home. Pour one of the samples of shot in the uh, little tin. This is a six ounce uh, tin can. Place it in the water. Actually, you should wait until the water begins to boil. <clears throat> boil on low, though. And while that is, uh, you measure the temperature of that. And by putting the thermometer in there, you should turn the thermometer on, I guess. And measure the temperature of the shot. You can also use that to stir the shot. If it uh, tends to move around, hold it with your uh, pliers and uh, leave that in there to determine the temperature. Then you need to add water to the cup. Inside this cup there's a lip. You can see that lip. If you place, if you fill up to that lip, Like that, you'll have 116 grams, plus or minus a gram, of water. Place that inside the other cup, just for additional insulation. Okay. Measure the temperature of the water, and record that as the cold temperature of the water. Once the shot has warmed as high as it's going to go, you'll just have to determine that. It could be in the uh, high 80s, low 90s. Uh, you will record that temperature as the hot temperature of the shot. Remove the thermometer. Take the sample. Make sure you don't get any hot water in there. And pour this in there. Place the thermometer here. Keep it stirred up. Now don't take the initial temperature. Wait until this temperature stabilizes and read that temperature. That's called the equilibrium temperature. Then you can determine the specific heat of this shot. <coughs>